Hey everyone, today I'm releasing my new Death Knight UI and Wigora packs covering all three specs, the Blood, Unholy, and Frost. All my user interfaces are entirely free, so you can proceed to download them from my website link in the description below. In the links below, you will also find two different videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my UI and more importantly, customize the UI to track your own trinkets, spells, and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long VOD showing you how I built an entire UI from scratch together with Twitch chat, using the Windwalker as an example. All these revamped Wikoras are also now foreign language compatible, so it works even if you're not playing the English version of the game. And with that out of the way, let me walk you through the components of my UI for each Death Knight spec, so you know exactly how they function after you import them into your very own game. Let's first start with the Blood DK tank, and we'll talk about the first row of icons. The top row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the core of the buttons that you'll be pressing. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and grayed out. As usual, we do not track abilities that do not have a cooldown or resource restriction tied to them. The core abilities here include Blood Boil, Death Strike, Marrow Ran, Heart Strike, Blood Drinker if you're talented for it, as well as Death and Decay and Covenant abilities. I've configured it such that your Covenant ability will change dependent on which Covenant you are in. And if you'd like to track an unused trinket in this row, you can. My how to install video will show you how to customize for that. The second row then tracks your defensives, cooldowns as a tank. This includes Icebound Fortitude, Vampiric Blood, Bone Storm, Dancing Rune Weapon, AMS, Rune Tap, Blood Tap, Lich Bond, Grips, and various other utilities. Moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see six red horizontal bars that represents your rune recharge over time. On top of that, you will also see a blue bar that represents how much runic power you have built up. The white figure in the middle denotes exactly how much runic power you currently have. Above that all is your buff bar that tracks your mitigations and defensives as a tank. For instance, your icebound fortitude duration, your stacks of bone shield and their respective durations, AMS, vampiric blood, dancing rune weapon, etc. I've also included externals that healers can toss on you to be tracked in this buff bar. That's all for the blood DK, let's talk about the unholy DK. For the unholy DK, similarly the top row will track your rotational abilities. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. The key rotational abilities tracked here are unholy blight, epidemic, death call, festering strike, death and decay, so reaper, unholy assault, some of which will only appear if you're talented for them. The row then rounds off with your covenant abilities that changes based on your covenant. The second row of icons then track your cooldowns and utilities, including Dark Transformation, Apocalypse, Army, Icebound, Wraith Wrath, Death's Pack, Grips, and various other utility spells. Above your icons, you'll see six red horizontal bars that represents your rune recharge over time. And on top of that, you'll see a blue bar that represents the amount of runic power built up, along with a white digit that denotes exactly how much runic power you have. Finally, you'll see a buff bar on top of it all. It tracks various buffs that's important to an unholy DK, including the duration of your unholy pack, dark succor, festering wounds, sudden doom, unholy blight, unholy frenzy, as well as various other defensives. That sums up the unholy DK weak auras. Let's move on to talk about the Frost DK. Similarly, the top row will track your rotational core abilities for the Frost DK, and when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be greyed out and desaturated. The key rotational abilities here tracked are Remorseless Winter, Frost Strike, Obliterate, Death and Decay, and various other talent choices, including Hypothermic Presence, Glacial Advance, Horn of Winter, etc. It then rounds off with your Covenant abilities which will vary depending on which covenant you pick. The second row of icons then track your cooldowns and utilities. It tracks your Pillar of Frost, Breath of Syndragosa, Empower Rune Weapon, Frostworm Fury, as well as various other defensives like AMS and Icebound Fortitude, and as well as other utilities such as your Death Grip. Above your icons, you'll see six red horizontal bars that represent your rune recharge over time. On top of that, you will also see a blue bar that represents the amount of runic power buildup you have. The white figure in the middle denotes exactly how much runic power you have. Finally, you will see a buff bar on top of it all. This tracks all the specific buffs that's important to a Frost DK, including your Pillar of Frost, Daxukor, Stacks of Cold Heart, Killing Machine, Remorseless Winter, Empower Rune Weapon, 
AMS, breath or syndrome goza, etc, etc. And that, my friend, sums up the walkthrough of my UI for all three specs of the Death Knight and the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below that covers how to install the UI in three simple steps, as well as answers to some FAQs, including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, how to move weak auras and scale them, amongst other questions. My website where you download the user interfaces also have detailed instructions on how to install them. All feedback and questions are welcome. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I'll update the weak auras over time to address bug fixes and errors. If you have questions about the UI, feel free to drop by my live stream. I stream most days of the week and my Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer any of your questions live. If this video was helpful to you, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily World of Warcraft videos and will release class week or us and UIs for every single spec in the game. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for their support. You folks make it possible for me to build and maintain the user interfaces for all the classes. And lastly, a big thank you to you for watching this video. Take care and enjoy the user interfaces.